Hello and welcome to this week's fifth episode of the Comic Book Network, where we bring you comic news, comic reviews, um, and stolen children. Guess who's back? Back again. I am back. Share this with your friends. All of them. All of them, please. All three. If you have four, I mean, we can use as much exposure as possible, but... Three would be nice. Three would be three would be nice. Decent. Not be okay. to not to promote us or anything. Right? But no. 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 Just as a, it had to rhyme, you know. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and we also, we don't expect you to have over three friends. I mean, that's a little no, bit extravagant. Yeah. I mean, if we had three friends, that would be, uh, that would be really touching. Yeah. We do have uh, Kevin, right? Kevin, I thought his name was Larry. I don't know. He can't talk. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He's not even a human being. I mean... He is actually a toaster strudel. Darn it. How could we have forgotten that he was a toaster strudel? Welcome back to the only podcast that can waste the first one minute and 17 seconds of their time for trying to remember someone's name. Yeah, we'll just call him Thanos for now, because... Pretty much everybody has to be Thanos at this point, I think. Yeah, well. So, let's get on to our main topic. Uh, we're reassembling the team here, so I thought it would be nice to talk about teams and comics. See how I did that? I don't. I'm y blind. You are <laughs> legally and illegally. Illegal. Actually, I'm going to have to take you in for that. Uh, um, so... I'm going to share a couple thoughts that I jotted down, a little a little note or two about how to build and uh, create a great team. And then I was thinking, maybe we could set up a team for ourselves. Maybe four characters or so. Four characters tops. I do yeah. believe I can do that. Yeah, you do have to include Thanos uh, yeah. as your story will need character development, of course. I mean, of course. I mean, without this... I mean, Thanos it's character. practically not even a story at that point if it doesn't have Thanos. All right, so every comic team from the Avengers to the Street Rats, have you ever heard of them? I have not. Mostly in Aladdin, actually. But Aladdin, oh yeah. Aside from that. Uh, Pulls them away from getting whipped or something. Right, exactly. But we we have to have five main things that really tie tie a um, team together. Uh, these are five positions, if you will. Like, if there was a job opening or a job, job offer for superheroes, these would be the five jobs they could have. And really, Thanos fits into each one. And right, he's, he's pretty much the boss, actually. He is. He did just tell us we're... We're going a little bit too long about him, but yes. he does appreciate the adoration, according to my earpiece. Running jokes. Of course, we need at least one, and Thanos cannot run very well. But here's here's my theory, if you will. Uh, I am a robot, hence the hence the theories and the speculations and the monotone speaking right and the gears inside that's kind of a big thing for me but uh, you know i'm working through it uh the driven leader is my first position all right captain america superman those are all people who have kind of a good standing and can get things done thanos right? thanos of course um and then there's the powerhouse, which is kind of an antithesis to the driven leader, right? He's dangerous, and he's pretty irritating at times, um, like like Ares in the New Avengers. Ares or Thanos. Or th right, exactly. I mean, you pretty much read my mind on that one. Um, then there's the tactician, like Batman who can usually provide some sort of a resolution between the two. Or Thanos? No, actually. Thanos uh, is so far above tactician-ness that he's actually become ultimate tactician. Ultimate tactician. 
We don't even have that on the list. He's so far above it that he became it with an adjective. That's wow. crazy. That is crazy. That it, wrap your little mind around that one. Compared to Thanos, it is so small. Right. And then we've got two more to go with. So, The Innocent. All right. This is one that people often leave out, but I think it's pretty important, actually. So, that could be like, say, in the MCU, it was Groot, right? Who got pretty much demolished, but he kind of tied the team together in some ways. Um,. Or Snapper Carr. Not a lot of people remember this character, but in the Justice League of America, not not Europe, and or if you were thinking of Europe or another country like Estonia, um, it's of America, and he he was kind of the do nothing, know nothing that. Both the powerhouse and the driven leader, who I mentioned, are in conflict. Right. They were able to bond over this innocent. They want to protect him. They want to keep him safe. They want to. They want to be a good person because he's there or she's there. All right. I and see. Then the final position, and this is the key. You have to have Thanos. a wall. You, you stole the words right out of my mouth. I know I started with the W sound, but it was going to be with Thanos. So uh, I, I I might as well just throw this little list away, right? I mean... Might as well. Not that we're reading off the script. No, of course not. Or a list. Uh, that would make it a little too monotone, right? Right. Yeah, of course. No, no inflection in our voices. No, yeah, no... Especially alone. Of course not, man. Um, so it's a wild card. We need, we need a wild card, a balance of power, if you will, who might be a little bit conflicting, but ultimately should end up on the good guy's side. You know, uh, so that would be like Sentry again from the New Avengers. Right. He was just a little bit over the edge, but hopefully. Over the edge in a good way. You know, a bit tipsy, but... Right. Like you back. were... I, no, just, um, so, so, based on that, I think we need to make four-person teams. Right. And I mean... Based off our five qualifications, let's all right. put a four-person team together. Of course. Uh, and feel free to go outside of the... Outside of the guidelines, if you want, or the guidelines that I set up, anyways. Uh, keep in mind that they are gold, and you need nothing else. But if you want to go outside of that, I don't see why you would. Go ahead. Right. So how I... dare you? Uh, that that really offends me that you deviated from my list so quickly. Um, I'm I'm kind of hurt on a deep emotional level. Shall I start? You 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 may. Let me pick up your list. All right. All right. So, for my characters, now they're not exactly on the same, maybe, same tier. level, tier. Right. Yeah, that's a good word for it. But I think that taking these four characters and combining them would be pretty good. So, for the, um, for the leader and also sharing the position of the innocent, we mm -hmm. have someone... Mm, Mostly useless. Okay. But we need someone to bring the team together. So we're we're taking Steve Rogers, Captain America, and All we're right. going to place him in that leader position. Sounds good. So. Pure and simple. Right. Then for the powerhouse, we need someone strong. We need someone powerful. We need someone who can exactly replicate the moves of any other person they see, except, you know better and they can also dodge and everything so for that thanos thanos of course right um i'm going to take taskmaster place right. him right on that team and we need a wild card who's the only person who can defeat taskmaster thomas from the block the other one Deadpool, exactly okay. what I was thinking you did put words you, in my mouth but they were the correct words if you can't beat them 
join them. Of course. We take Deadpool as the wild card and we place him on the team, right? All right. I'm now, in. that leaves one spot left, the tactician. Now, this hero won't necessarily be on the battlefield, but they will be, you know, off, you know, watching, sending, uh, sending messages into not only their own team, but the enemy's heads, you know. Mm-hmm. A psychic. We a want a psychic. psychic to kind of overlay the battlefield, tell them, hey, this is happening. Okay. You got to do this. So we're going to take Thomas Jean, from the block. Thomas from the block. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take Jean Grey, and we're going to put her there. Not in her Phoenix form, because I think that would be more of a wild card-ish. Right. But we're going to take her, you know, with her psychic powers and bring her there. Yeah, that sounds good. And she could, she could definitely... Help. Definitely work on the field as well, but yeah, that that would be nice from the sideline. And uh, that brings us to the fifth position, which is be all end all. And for that, I've put Thanos. Thanos, wow, yeah. that is new, creative, and something entirely unexpected. I thought it was hilarious and original myself. I am going to be fully forthcoming with you and say that Thomas from the block was Thanos. Um. Wow. You could tell because of the TH that started each of their names. I didn't notice. You didn't. I but, did not. Uh, I didn't even notice till about 10 seconds ago. Um, so my team is going to be 10 times better than your team because right. every single position is filled by guess who? Thomas from the block. No, Jenny. Jenny. Jenny from the block. My bad. <laughs> Jenny from the park. You, you imbecile. You're trying to, you're trying to fill my. I'm zero for three. Fill my, <laughs> uh, I'm actually just trying to cover myself because you my got every single. My record's about as good as the Raiders. Yeah, you got every single one though, um, and I was trying to defend myself, but good on you. I, I'm impressed, and need I say a little coy. A little coy by that. You are coy. I am coy. Um, so the driven leader, I am going to put the ultimate paragon of virtue, the stereotype, if you will. Thanos. <laughs> you got me. You got me again. Three for seven. All right. So I'm going to put Superman there. What a shock, right? I mean... He's so villainous, you could hardly expect him to be a driven leader. But then I'm going to take another spot, the powerhouse and the tactician, combine them, and use Dr. Doom. His plans may have been a little eccentric in the past, but we've seen, uh, at least in recent all-new, all-different comics, that he's turned... A Turned a better face, I think. Um, mostly because he doesn't have that weird mask anymore. But right. he's gotten he's gotten better, and I think that earns him a place on the team. He's dangerous, and he's green, and we need our color scheme to look crazy. Well, congratulations, Doctor Doom. You've made it. <laughs> congratulations. Indeed. Yes, indeed. He is. He's made it all the way to this point. I mean, from ruling a country, like, that's something anyone can do, right? Right. Kim so, Jong-un can do it. <laughs> right, exactly. And We're now, getting taken down. He is the Jenny of the park on this one. He is our Jenny. He is our Jenny. He, Jenny Doom. Dr. Jenny Doom. Um, then there's the innocent. All right. I'm going to use Invincible. Mark Grayson from his self-titled series from Image. Um, but I'm going to use him early in life because he did, he did get a little bit not so innocent by the end. But I still think he's someone who people can rally around and uh, he can tie the team together if need be. And then finally... My wild card, I'm going to send in the Legion, uh, Charles Xavier's son, nice. who's 
little bit slightly crazy, but you know, uh, like you and I, we need a crazy person on our team. And uh, I'll leave the listener to figure out who that is. Uh, but trust me, it's the one with gears inside and a monotone. Voice. Believe me, it's it's not the toaster screwed all over me. <laughs> it is Jenny. <laughs> you From guessed the park. it. From the freaking park. Crazy, right? All right. So if that if that about wraps it up, I think we pretty much got a, the best of the best on our teams, and only the best. Right. I have one more team. Oh. Consisting solely of Thanos. I hate it. I mean, you could have gone for so much more. Mm. Uh, um, it's depressing. It's sad. It's it's really not a team at all. I mean, if you think about it, it's only like five people there. So it's a global powerhouse. It's yeah. You created a Jenny of yourself. Um. So let's move on to our reads of the week, and I'm gonna start this one off with Snowfall, which is a very strange comic, uh, but one that you'll definitely enjoy if you like weather. No. You don't? Okay. What a shocker there. Uh, um, it's, it's a new comic. It was the first issue, so I'm hesitant to judge, but it wasn't, it wasn't the most interesting. It's, about the future, crazy, wherein the global warming has gotten pretty bad and snow hasn't been seen for a really, really long time. And people who do use snow, uh, particularly, particularly this one person called the Mysterious Winter Wizard, has been uh, stirring up a little trouble with his snowflakes. Um, that sounds like some sort of euphemism, but yeah, snowflakes stirring trouble. What are your thoughts on that? Cool. No, not really. It, it was it was pretty bad, but uh, if if you enjoy stories about goggled superheroes fighting against the government to keep their precious snowflakes, uh, you will enjoy Frozen or Snowfall. Either one. Either one. One of them has Let It Go, though, so I'll, I'll give you your choice. I'd recommend the, the first. Uh, the second comic I read was Avengers Standoff at Silent Hill. Now this one's this one's a really entertaining one. Um, I think I told you about the Vision comic sometime in the last couple of episodes, but it took a turn for the dark, um, and it's really branching out from the normal Marvel comic media, and so too does Avengers Standoff at Silent Hill. So imagine this for me, just no. a little. Okay, moving on. Uh, let's talk about Jenny some more. No, but Im imagine this. You know the raft and how that's been super successful at keeping right. prisoners at bay? The safest and secure. Of course. Imagine this whole town designed specifically to keep supervillains at bay, right? What they do is they completely erase and replace the memories of a supervillain and keep it as sort of a prisoner there in the hopes to rehabilitate and rejuvenate said supervillain. I see. Are you buying? So it's more of a re reform, reprogramming type of thing. Yeah, it's it's told from the perspective of Baron Zemo, who we don't know is Baron Zemo until the end. So, spoiler alert, a little bit late, but um, Thanos is actually every single one of them. Huh. But it, it, it really was an interesting turn for Marvel Comics, I think. And it was 
it was pretty entertaining and I'm excited to see how it goes. Um, then finally, I'm going to bring it to Huck, issue four, where we get to see his origin story. Crazy, right? We, uh, we, we see that he has a little bit more depth than we previously thought, and we also see that he's just a great person, as if we haven't seen that already. Right. Um... Yeah, he it's it's been wildly entertaining so far. I'm excited for the next series or the next issue cuz the end was kind of shocking, kind of surprising. Kind of two brothers find out that they they're not exactly brothers type of ending. No spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. But, but you're adopted. Han Solo dies. I'm sorry. Rip. Forgive me. I'm, I apologize to anyone who's a huge Star Wars fan, but um, has been out of town for the last uh, two, three months. Yeah, if at least if that specific situation pertains to you, I apologize deeply. You know, on opening day or close to that, my friend was waiting in line to see Star Wars. Uh huh. The new one. Right. And some guy in a really, really nice car. I'm talking really nice, like red Lambo. Oh. He starts driving. I was driving thinking by. golf cart, so I'm glad you clarified that. I, I, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. He starts driving by and he yells out his window Han Solo dies, right? Uh huh. The whole theater's like upset, right? Right. And the, this, this hero. This this man of integrity. Uh huh. He takes a large coke, mind you, a large <laughs> a one, large, and not a medium. Dumps hey. it all over this guy's <laughs> car. That is ideal. It was ideal. That's what happened to the guy. He drove off. He had to go wash his car. And that, my friends, is what I'm talking about when I say a strong, powerful leader. That that man. Is it too late to change my team? Because I'd like him to be leading my team instead. We should give him a Grammy. Yeah. Was it? We don't need one for what, Leonardo. We was can, it? Was it like, Tommy? I think it was Thomas. From Thomas the block. from the block. From the block. It was. I I have no. Wow. I have no credible sources on that, but I'm going to say it is. Like a hundred percent guaranteed. A hundred percent. Right. Guaranteed. Oh wow. So. <laughs> Um, I'm going to have to take this in for a little bit, but, uh, in the meantime, let's move on to our question of the week. And remember folks, you can give us your question of the week and you know how you email us, you email us, you send it via pigeon, uh, to our mansion. Please do remember if you do send it via pigeon, Make sure there's an orange tag on its foot because yeah. we've been get, we've been getting so much pigeon taxes, right? And they're all yeah. purple, so it helps us differentiate which ones to shoot down and which mm -hmm. ones to uh, to let come through. Yeah, and please vaccinate it because last time <laughs> pigeon flu is not fun, right? Yeah, apparently you can't eat the wings when the pigeons fly. It's okay, but when they flew, it's it's really devastating to our whole house and home. Past tense is too dense for this stence. Oh. Stence. Oh. Stencil. Ideal. Taking that rhyme home. Like we said in the first episode, this is the place for unfinished rhymes. And you really... That was kind of a crime there. Um, smooth transition. Let's go into our letter of the week. But first, here's how you can contact us. You simply email the comic book network at gmail.com spelled that's exactly how it sounds t h e c o f o okay c o m i c b o o k n e t w o r k it's harder than you thought at symbol g m a i l dot c o m i did it that's perfect that was actually <laughs> I'm kind of getting a little teary-eyed there. That I, was great. I may or may not have read that off the computer. Well, that's that's something we can 
just move past it. Just gloss right, right over gloss it. Gloss right over I think making a little bit of a point about it is maybe not glossing over as much as we thought, but uh, we do want to make a note that Ethan did read that off the computer. Um, and now we'll just gloss over we'll it. We'll gloss you know? over it now. <laughs> Gloss over it. Right. Moving just on. Slip, slip right past. Just to be clear, just he did it, read it. Just but moving past. Just that. slip it right in your drink. Uh-huh. So email your questions, comments, concerns about our well-being, uh, doctor's notes if you have one. If you have one. If you don't, uh, email one. a fake. Yeah. Uh, forge your mother's signature on said email. Um, so here it is. The day five of our 30-day comic challenge that I said we were going to go on. Right. I'm skipping around a little bit, but... Here's the question. What comic character do you feel you, or do you most wish that you were? Well, now that's a toughie. I wish I, I wish I knew this question beforehand and maybe sort of prepared, which I, we totally are unscripted here and I do not know. But originally I was thinking Taskmaster, but thinking about it, Taskmaster, you know, as I may or may not have covered, spoiler alert, he, in his new volume two, he does not have his memories intact. But you do have a skull for a face, so you're at least part of the way there. I'm, I'm halfway there. <laughs> he, he doesn't have his memories intact, and he hardly recognizes his own wife. Right. So, with great power comes great cost. So instead of that, I want to. I want to go a bit more. Off the dome? I want to go a bit more cliche. Okay. I'm gonna go with Batman. Well liked. Mm-hmm. Good superhero. And money, honey. Money. Making it rain. Absolutely, you gotta cash. get that cash. You can't be super if you don't have a lot of money. A lot right? of dough. If there's one thing this capitalist system has taught me. It's that. Rolling in the green. So I'm going to go with... The Jacksons. The, 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 the Washingtons. Okay, the Benjamins. The, the everything. Every single president. The Abraham Lincoln. You got me there. I wasn't expecting that. The Benjamins. All right. Franklin. I'm going to go with Huck. Thanos. Because he's pretty much everything anyone should be. He's kind in every situation. He's... Uh, always thinking of others rather than himself, and he is a superhero. Is he rich? He's not rich. Okay, you caught me there. You caught me there, Ethan. You, I, I, I would be poor. Got him good. You got me good. All right. So that about brings our time to a close. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope we're improving. You can find us on. On YouTube at the Comic Book Network, you can find us on Spreaker and listen to it without any interruption, even if you close the app by listening on Spreaker, where you can find us at the Comic Book Network as well. I um, hope you enjoyed, and have a great day. I'm going to take this toaster strudel out back. All right, and I am going to take Jenny. Goodbye.